Hey folks, Wish SE. I'm up here in New Hampshire. My friend Paul joined me today at the range and he brought his new VP9 SK subcompact. This is the upgraded version, or a version 2, I guess. It has the new trigger uh, mechanism and uh, upgrade. Uh, it shows the little 2 on the inside. That's the way you distinguish that. The gun is a obviously compact version of the VP9. Set up with night sights, great trigger, like many people have come to expect from the VP series. What we're going to do here is shoot it at a couple different distance. I'm going to start, of course, real close at about three yards. We'll just work the trigger, get a feel for it, and then we're going to back up. We'll shoot some steel and some other things. So I'm really excited to get on the gun. Thanks for watching. Let's get to shooting right now. Don't know this gun, never shot it before, but again, we're pretty much getting shot and shot group here from the distance that we are, which is three yards. We're gonna take a step back. We're gonna work a slightly different target from five yards and give you guys a chance to see that. So subjectively felt recoil is very, very mild, very mild. It's got that dual recoil spring, and I think that mitigates some of the felt recoil. Also the trigger, really sweet very easy to operate. Let's step back to five and see how we do. The gun comes with uh, flush fitting and the other magazine that I was just using before which gives you a little bit more grip. However, it will also take the full-size VPN mag so it's in its normal configuration you've got 10 plus one in the chamber. If you carry an extra mag, obviously carrying the full-size VPN mag gives you the ability to have whatever's in the gun plus 15 rounds. Pretty nice combination. So we're gonna shoot the flush fitting mag. Looks like a pretty good group. We got a one inch group, five yards. We're gonna step back one more time to seven. And again, I'm going slowly, deliberately, so I should be able to do this. I really like the feel of the gun. So for me, subjectively, one thing that I would do is it's got the large back strap on it. That just doesn't fit my hands. There's too much of a swell. That's all subjective. Paul has much larger hands than me, and that system works very, very well for him. So the fact that you've got three different back straps and you can swap them out, you can also swap out the side um, panels as well. And really give uh, it gives the gun a great deal of modularity. We're going to step back to seven. Okay, folks, seven. I'm standing right in a puddle, which of course feels great. See how we do here. We're going to shoot at that number two dot out there on these M3 strategy targets from Stephen Pinot. I really like these targets. They're awesome. That was a mash. So this last two, um, I just mashed the trigger a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shoot some more from this same distance and I'm gonna aim uh, at a different spot so you guys can see it. As you can see, the black flies up here in New Hampshire add a little bit of excitement when trying to concentrate and shoot because they like to get inside your uh, workspace, your eyes, your nose and make it really fun. So in a back up now, we're gonna aim at the uh, lower box there and we'll give you guys a chance to see that. I'm gonna try to be a little slower, work the trigger a little better. Okay, so now I've got the 15 round magazine in there. I'm not gonna fire 15 rounds, but it does, in my mind, it's just like shooting a Glock 26 and you can use the Glock 19 or Glock 17 round mags. It's a really nice combination. And again, not an exceptional group. I don't blame the gun whatsoever. This is all about me not knowing the trigger. But you can see from a, a combat effective uh, hit standpoint, if we fire, 
right, we're not having any problems getting good hits on target from a combat effectiveness standpoint. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna transition over to my favorite targets, steel targets, give you guys a chance to see that. Really impressed with the way the gun feels, functions. It's really a nice one. Okay, so 10 yards down the way there, we've got our steel plates and we'll work them. I'm gonna shoot slowly, focus on getting hits and not too fast. Got to miss at least one. And somehow, magically, they almost pulled up. And now, magically, they did pull up. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you have a good friend, like Paul, running the racks for me. Again, yeah, no problem. Feeling pretty good about it. And I think if I just spent a day, you know, 300, 400 rounds, I'd be dialed in pretty quickly. And again, with that change to that back strap, I feel like this gun would be uh, one I would love to carry. And certainly its reliability has a lot to do with that. It's been functioning great. We've tried a uh, few different types of ammo and they have worked well. So what we're gonna do now is we'll move out to some distance uh, shooting on steel. Again, my favorite and give guys a chance to see that. Okay, so now from 25. I kinda wanna stop there because I, <laughs> <laughs> a group that's right there that a couple others on the outside but that's pretty darn accurate shooting for a small for a small compact pistol oh well we'll keep trying them sure enough there goes one Well, folks, that's a quick look at the VP9SK, the subcompact. A uh, really wonderful pistol by HK. And a uh, special shout out to my friend Paul for the use of this pistol to do this review. Paul has lent us a number of his handguns over the years to do review, and he's a great guy, and I really appreciate that. Hey, folks, finally, and as always, stay safe.